Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we will create an absolutely fantastic looking news. Have we preview of it in here? I'm really excited to show you this technique uh, and combination of the foiling with the flowers and some sugar. Uh, I think it looks um, amazing like and uh, also it inspires me to create a lot of more um, those subtle look and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! <laughs> We are going to do a beautiful design. I show you that here is a combination of some transfer foil and a sugar ink. A really uh, beautiful look. And on the pinky needle, we will go for a full cover transfer. So I will be just using the transfer foil gel. You just have to apply it on the tip. And depending what look you want to get, either a full coverage or just a part coverage. On this one we're going for a full coverage. And then give it a cure. And it's great because it cures uh, 30 to 60 seconds. And then we are going to transfer the foil. Then on this nail we are going to go for half a look. So I'm just applying on the half of the tip. And then give it a cure. So the first tip is ready. And you can either cut a small size you need or just pick up the design you prefer it. And on this one, since it is a small small nail i think i'm going to go for for this part of the foil so basically what you do is you just place the foil and then wrap this in you can use your fingers or you can use the silicone tool so like i've got some silicone tool and then you will just press the foil really well like making sure you don't have too much of those um, banded places and you can see how easy it is coming off and then gently pull there is any banded places just give it a couple more uh, wrap in to make sure to get a full coverage and then you will see like the foil is kind of coming off and then just peel it gently off okay so this way you've got a really beautiful uh, coverage on the entire tip and on this one we are just going to go straight with the top coat Apply a decent amount of the top coat, like, and make sure you cap the free edge properly, and then give it a cure. On this way, uh, Neil, we're going halfway. So I'm going to use, actually this part is quite nice, because we've got some roses there. So again, just attach the part of the foil, and then wrap this in. And you can see the foil is easily coming off. Again, this look would be much easier to create on the client than on the tip, which is moving. But you could see it once the foil is transferred, you can just easily peel it off. 
And now we need to apply some striping tape. So I'm going to use a gold striping tape. and then trim it at the places we don't need it. Cameraman stolen my best scissors. <laughs> yeah, he give me back. Don't use them, they're the sharpest scissors ever. I'm always screaming at him when he uses my best scissors because they really so nice and sharp like um, I actually need to get them in stock because uh, I think they are fantastic like especially for typing like or um, even cutting the forms they pretty good but not as sharp this ones are fantastic I even cut myself with the scissors um, well yeah, anyway <laughs> they are best scissors ever and I will try to get them actually in stock guys for you as well so the striping tape, make sure it is all good. And now we need to cover the design in two, uh, two ways. But to save the time, we are going to also um, apply those pink color because I think it will look fantastic. <laughs> so on my mixing palette, I'm going to use a drop of the color plus in red. So some red and some white paint on French gel. And it's actually a big time saver um, because you don't have to apply two layers or two coats or anything like that as one layer. So I'm just mixing this color. Really well. And now we are going to paint it. So you can, I'm actually using the angular brush because it has nice straight tip. And if we would do it on the client, you would go like this. <laughs> And you can see it one layer is enough compared to the gel polish so that's why i have chosen this option just go to the stripy striping tape you could also paint this first and then apply the striping tape whichever you find it easier and whichever you prefer okay push it to the striping tape without of touching it and then I've got those beautiful pink color and this part has to be top coated okay because we've got transfer foil here you also want to top coat your striping tape like really well cut the free edge and when I'm working with foil I kind of give those extra top coats so what you can do once you top coat it you can do kind of like an extra layer just in the middle and then give it a cure on the middle finger, on the middle finger, what we want on the middle finger? Let's go maybe simple, or maybe not, don't go simple. <laughs> okay, so we are not going to go simple. And we will create a more of a design. So I'm painting the parts where I want the foil to stick in. Actually even more precise. So I just put a drop of it on my mixing palette. And with the D-liner, I'm going to perfect the shape now. And that is perfect. Can you catch it in the camera where I painted? Yes. Yes, okay, awesome. And then 30 seconds cure again. Now the pinky is ready. So let me put it there. I actually love this uh, transfer foil look. Let me get a more of it. <gasps> Getting another idea in my head now. Okay, so we've got the pinky. 
Now this one is almost ready as well, so we want to sugar it. We've got the top coat over our transfer foil, and now we are taking the top coat only on the pink part. Don't go too close to the striping tape. Like you don't want to touch it because otherwise it will be covered with the sugar. And then using the sugar, we are going to sprinkle it. And I love how this sugar looks on this pink. And I think it's like once you guys create a one set of the needles, then you're getting idea for another um, another looks uh, absolutely fantastic. Look how beautiful it is. And then give it a cure. So our ring finger is matching the thumbnail. Now we've got this middle finger. So grab those transfer foil. And we are going to go for this part now. Okay, so just wrap this well. Obviously, the more curved needles are, the more difficult it is. And making sure it's everywhere. And then once you start seeing the foil is starting coming off, you can start pulling it. I'm almost there. There we are, and I can start pulling it. Now is the time for a striping tape. So I'm just going to grab my striping tape. And add the detail. So we're going to go like this <clears throat> and now this one I want to cut it at the angle Probably more I need to cut, or maybe not. Place it there, wrap this in. Don't lose the end of your striping tape. <laughs> and then just secure the striping tape so it stays on nice. I'm actually going to trim it a little bit more because if the striping tape is outside the tip then it is easier to catch it and make it to come off like you need to make sure you've got always those uh, free space where you can really top coat it and after this part is done we can move on into the pink and again with the angular gel brush the work is going to be very easy to do it so I'm just pushing it same like painting a smile line. And then the other side. So you can see I have swapped the, um, the side of the brush. So here I was working with this side. And here I'm working with this side. And this is the brush I'm using also for painting the French. And I would just paint it like this and then push it in the middle to get a nice smile line. Very easy and quick uh, design to do it. Now we can give it a cure and to save the time we can apply the top coat over the striping tape and uh, transfer foil.
again if you struggle you could use the smaller brush to do this step I'm just playing with the large brush and give it a cure now this one is finished so we need to remove the excess of the sugar and we can add it on to the collection I love this look so much cute cute spring nails absolutely beautiful look guys and the sugar on this color is amazing now just to give you a couple ideas what we could do is we could take a paint on French gel and we could paint either a dots or we could paint a stripes and then we could sugar it and uh, it will give us a completely different look now I'm in confusion because one side of me says no just sticks to the sugar but also I want to give you the ideas as well so what you could do is like paint a white stripes or do a lots of white dots I think it will look fantastic and that's what stripes. stripes yeah I know like it's so tempting I should do it maybe um but I'm kind of like I don't want to do it at the same time because it will be um different idea no I will leave it for different I've got so many different um, flowers so we could do this uh, look on this as well it's kind of reminds me those um, vintage look as well let's do let's do sugar no let's do sugar stick with the one idea and keep the stripes and dots for another idea but you can guys do it like with the stripes and if you do create this look, just hashtag Dorota Palicka on the other social medias, because uh, I would love to see it as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to give it a sugar over it. Really cute nails. We could use gems instead of the striping tape, or we could use glitter as well. So many different possibilities. And then give it a cure and let's design the last one so it cannot be exactly the same like a thumbnail because it would be boring so I'm going to swap it so the design is going to be on the top part and then on the bottom we are going to have a sugar So just apply it halfway. We could also do it like a same like we did it on the other one and just swap the colors. So whichever you feel will look good. Give it a cure. And then take it out to apply the transfer foil. So again, pick up the part you want to apply and I think I want to go for this part it's like applying the wallpapers on the wall as well you have to make sure there is no air bubbles And yes, we have done quite a lot of houseworks uh, as well, usually on, us own, on our own. It's quite a fun. Okay, and then start removing it. Do the striping tape. I didn't lose it, <laughs> but it was close. Ta-da! 
top coat. Like make sure you cover the striping tape. Even if you go over the clear space, it's okay. Like here, you can go over with the top coat. Doesn't matter really. It's better not. But if you do, nothing's happened. But the opposite way, you can't because then the sugar will stick in into the striping tape. And now we are going to paint it just to save the time. So this is a huge time saver. And I love this uh, shade of pink. It's just so go with the roses. And then give it a cure. Let's see the middle finger because I think this one was, was looking really, really nice. So I can put all the stuff on the side. Clean the excess of the sugar. Absolutely stunning as well. Stick in there. So that's our middle finger. Yeah, and I like it how it goes, definitely, I love it. A tiny bit of the sugar in here. Don't go over the striping tape. And then sprinkle it. Tap to remove the excess and give it a cure. Yeah, in, in a minute I will be able to show you the full set which we have uh, created today. I hope, guys, you have really enjoyed uh, watching it and you have learned something new as well. I will also give you the link in the descriptions of the video to the products uh, I have used it to. I love this sugar. It looks so amazing. Like. I will show you different light angles. I think it looks much more beautiful in real, to be honest, than it does in the camera. Now, cameraman will be angry at me, but I'm, I'm going to blur it, because if it's blurred, it looks better. Oh, wow. No, it's even not blurred. Wow, it looks amazing. <laughs> You've got good camera. <laughs> Yeah, it looks amazing. I had to show you because in real it looks just so fantastic. Now I'm just going to remove the excess of the sugar and stick in the last tip which we have created into the fill collection. Can't take, uh, can't wait to take a thumbnail picture. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I hope you have guys really enjoy watching it. If you did, hit the share button for me, please. Pretty please, please. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.